Well, later tonight in November, snowfall is forecasted to hit the Twin Cities, but right now, calm outside, and of course, a calm day inside U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. The scene a short time ago, this crowd decked out in purple, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football, folks, as the Vikings get set to do battle with the Detroit Lions. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. And, CD, this is a passing league. I don't think you would argue that thought. But our ball game here features a couple of teams with strong offensive lines that really like to work the ground game. And you and I have both heard from different people in the league who say it has become a little bit of a lost art in the NFL, the ability to run the football. And we've heard from defensive coordinators who tell us that they play the pass first. That's not something you normally hear. But these two offenses, they're true to who they are. Both ranked in the top five in terms of rushing yardage. I think they're both going to use those massive offensive lines to try and wear down these defenses. Second and three. The quick slant caught. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. To throw. Cousins. Touchdown, Vikings. D.C. Johnson. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well that they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route. That Back to throw now on first down. And it's caught. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. A great play there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Lions have broken our tie as they take the lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass, this young quarterback throws. Another try after the first down sack. Cousins, nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and this is scooped up by the Lions. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. And in the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack, put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so. Running for it, here's Cook. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Dalvin Cook, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Vikings are able to make this a close game again. So fourth and goal, their head coach gave that offensive line one more chance to punch it in in this And he'll give it here to his running back. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Lions have taken the lead. Well, pardon me, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting... He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Lions add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by They'll run it with Williams. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamal Williams, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Lions are poised to move to 8-0 as they extend their lead even further. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Guard. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first